what's up y'all this is side back with another reaction y'all from the fat man's podcast i got another reaction y'all but before we get in this reaction y'all please hit that like button subscribe button i'm trying to hit oh shoot i forgot we hit 400 sky i want to say thank y'all for for everybody that just subscribed this last two this last month i just hit 200 subscribers in one in one month so thank y'all we'll see if we can hit uh 300 we're at 411 so we'll see if we can get to 500 subscribers y'all tell your family tell your friends tell you whoever you want to tell this town to subscribe to the fat man's podcast that's all i got to say but let's get into let's get into this reaction y'all i know y'all like candace owens so i got some candace owens stuff for y'all i just picked this up it was up in my feed the youtube feed so i said shoot this is newer. I think it might have been new. This is a newer episode, a newer show. Um, so let's get in here, y'all. So the title, the the title of the um reaction is "They're Playing How Halloween." So I guess if if y'all heard, there there was Alta Alta. I think that that that's a makeup line. I believe so. And all to like all I see, you know, it'd be up in the up in the stores and stuff like that. And I guess these two these two transformers or these the the Decepticons are saying they're women. You gotta be out your goddamn mind. But yeah, what's getting here, y'all? And I guess uh, Candace Owens about to speak on it, so we'll see what she talking about. <clears throat> and you think you're a woman and you'll receive so moving on to people that are never canceled all you have to do is say that you're a man you think you're a woman and you'll receive awards you remember a few weeks ago we covered uh this person who bizarrely was it seems almost given a big following by tiktok we talked about how they are artificially uh creating popular channels it almost seems that the more perverse you are on tiktok the more likely you are to garner a big following. I don't think it's because people are m meaning to engage with your content. I think it's because China means for people to engage with your content. China, of course, wins the more perverse an American culture um, becomes because it is the best way to attack us is with cultural Marxism, right? They're controlling a TikTok app, which means that they are controlling the habits of our children as they are on this app. And this creature, and that's the reason why I'm on, I'm not on TikTok. I don't see the point of it. It's just like another Instagram without, like, you know, without without the pictures. It's mostly just the videos. And some of this shit is stupid to me and fruity. Like, dudes be dancing, like, what girls be dancing. That shit goofy to me. I don't, I don't see why they do that. But, hey, that's my opinion on it. I don't see... Any, to on uh, my Instagram, most of it's just like motivational stuff. You know what I mean? Getting money stuff. That that's mostly what it is. I don't really, I really don't post on Instagram like that. But y'all definitely should follow. Uh, if y'all did me me any videos you want me to react to, I definitely, I'll definitely talk. I'll definitely check it out. But I just, I don't post on Instagram. I probably should more more often. But yeah, y'all tell me what y'all think. If any y'all got like uh, TikTok. Instagram, Facebook, uh, shoot, what else is there? Twitter. I don't even use Twitter. Sure. Dylan Mulvaney came out of nowhere. I showed you his video of him frolicking. It almost seems like it's a joke of him saying, I'm a woman, and this is how I have decided I'm going to be a woman. I'm going to put on a skirt and say that I'm afraid of bugs. That was the video that I showed you. Um, maybe it was last week, a couple of weeks ago. Well, Ulta, Ulta Beauty, you know, like the opposite of Sephora is Ulta, recently just loved Dylan Mulvaney so much, they decided to launch a podcast called The Beauty Of, which features influential people like Dylan Mulvaney. So they had him on and they want their perspectives. They just want Dylan Mulvaney to talk about his perspective on beauty. So here is what he had to say on that podcast which is catching a little bit of backlash. Take a listen. Now I know I can find love. I know I can still be a performer. I know that I can have a family. I want to be a mom one day. And I 
what the fuck this man just say? Bro, it's not, it's not, that's nothing to play with. You cannot be a mom. Like, I'm like, like, I'm like, dad shit's kind of heated. That's not something that you play with. You can never be a mother. Stop. What are you? Your kid's gonna be fucked up. I know they is. Stop it. You can't, you can't have no kids out with no damn stick. Y'all know what I mean, some Johnson. Y'all know what I mean. Fuck you talking about. Nothing else to play with, bro. That's not, that's not nothing to play with. I see why you got blacklash on this motherfucker shit. That's so fucking crazy. You cannot be a mother. Ooh. That's crazy. You cannot be a mother. Stop acting like you can't be one. No, you cannot. Kids gonna be fucked up. Crazy. Crazy. Taking everything from mothers that they supposed to do. You talking about you gonna be a mother? Man, you supposed to work, Nick. You a man. You supposed to go out there and work for your for your for your wife. No disrespect to the gay people, nothing like that. But come on, y'all, y'all gotta disagree with this. I don't have no problem with what he got, what he doing, or anything like that. You want to dress up as a woman? Go ahead, but you can't say you could be a mother. That's like taking away from what women do. Can't just dress up as a woman. And think you can just do everything that a woman can do? Fuck wrong with you absolutely can and that's why the narrative still has a long way to go because when i was grieving boy dylan i didn't know those things were even accessible to me oh okay well i guess that's this just means that all it takes to be a woman and if you're listening to this you're not hearing it he's dressed in a obviously wearing a, a bright red dress a big big here's the hit piece here we go baby they unearthed a matt walsh speaking about teenage pregnancy. They went after uh, Matt Walsh, who's- Big bow in his hair, or if he's like a cheerleader, and then sitting across from him is a gender-bending host who similarly looks like a woman but has a beard because that's some other category of the LGBTQ RSTUV community, which I stopped learning the letters after the B. I just, I don't have time for it. I actually just do not have time to learn the language uh, anymore. And so they're basically on this podcast mocking what it means to be a woman. As I say, now what it is, it's become a caricature, right? This is Halloween. This, they're playing Halloween appropriate. It's just a couple of weeks away. They're playing Halloween on a podcast, and both of them are appearing dressed as women. And this is all it is, to have a, a female experience, get on a podcast and say, oh, I didn't know all this stuff was available to me. But then I went into TikTok, and I realized that all this stuff is available to me. I could just all I have to do is say I'm afraid of bugs that I like big red bows, that I love dresses, that I'm wearing some stockings so I'm a woman, duh. And it's amazing, I'm having a great time. I'm frolicking through the woods with friends. I'm being called by Ulta Beauty and I'm being asked to speak about what it means to be a woman, right? What it means to be a beautiful woman. And I'm sitting across from a man who has a beard uh, and is also in a strange way presenting as a female. And we are now gonna tell you guys what it's like to be a girl. We're talking all things girly as two grown men that have some form of, some varying forms of mental illness. And that really what their mental illness is? Attention. That's what it is. There are not all these weird categories of things to identify as that just suddenly appear in our society rapidly over the last five years. I didn't go to school with any people that thought they were male or thought they were female, right? We just had gays and lesbians, and there were very few of them in my high school. I said that when I was in high school, none of this shit really didn't even happen like that. I'm telling you, there was gays, straight, and lesbians. And most of the time, they all stick together. You might have saw, you might have saw a little bit of trans people. Men that are acting like a little female. You might have like one, two. But that's a really what I saw in my high school. Most of them was like straight. This shit just, this shit just like, just sparked in like 2020. When damn near 
the what the hell is it? Um, uh, Billium and all this other stuff, and looks like damn. I want to see the schools now and everything? Like, what is going on? Thank you, Candace. I knew I wasn't the only one. I mean, she might she's older than me, but I know I ain't tripping. School class graduating with there. These people. And most of the time, you, you they had to hide that kind of shit. Weren't gender conflicted. We didn't have people jumping up saying that they thought that they were animals or men that had beards but wore lipstick. And if we saw them, we would have assumed that they were troubled, that something was going on at, at home. We didn't have any, so we couldn't even assume that. But now rapidly, everybody's got something going on and everyone's being given awards and podcasts for talking heroically about their experiences. Their experience they should be talking about is what it's like to need so much attention, right? How desperate you must be to be so extreme on social media for likes that you dress yourself up like a woman and pretend that that suddenly makes you so. That is embarrassing and it needs to stop. Moving on, in a story that should shock nobody, researchers at Boston University's National Emerging Infectious Diseases Laboratories have created a new strain of the COVID virus, echoing experiments which many believe led to the COVID-19 pandemic. The variant is a hybrid of the Omicron variant, which spread over the winter, and the original virus that, discovered, that was discovered in Wuhan with this hybrid having the ability to kill 80% of the mice that researchers infected. So 80% of the conspiracy theory. Let me ask a question. Why on earth are they creating viruses in labs? All right, y'all. That's the that's the interview. I just wanted to, I just wanted her 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 uh, her commentary on that kind of bull crap what we just saw. Uh, y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. I think it's totally wrong. I think I think somebody should really push back on it. I think they should just delete the whole podcast. To be honest, um, I don't. That's just not funny. I don't know where you get this idea. You go on TikTok that you could be a woman or anything. You could not. You don't had the you don't had the necessary uh tools for you to be a woman, especially you 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 you're a, well I guess you do have the emotion because you a beta, straight beta, like a just a piece beta, but I don't I don't know I don't know there's something really there's something really wrong with them kind of people to be honest. I mean you could dress up as whatever you want, but. Uh, you, you could be a, a mother. No, nah, man. No, nah, man. Yeah, there's something wrong with you. You, 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 you uh, seeking attention. There's something wrong with your head. The TikTok to fuck your head up. And all that kind of stuff. But hey, y'all, y'all tell me in the comments what y'all think. Please hit that like button and subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of this month. So please do share with your family, friends, whoever you see. Just tell them to subscribe to the Fat Man's podcast. Just tell them that we do, a little, we do a lot. You know what I mean? Do a lot. Jesse, uh, Candace, Fox News, all that kind of stuff. But hey, y'all. I'll see you guys on the next one. Osiris is out from the Fat Man's podcast. See you on the next one, y'all.